I'm going to show you how you can sysprep and capture Windows 11 using Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. So to start, I've got an existing Microsoft Deployment Toolkit setup, which we set up in the previous video, and I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. So to start, we need to create a new deployment share, which is dedicated to capturing operating systems. So to do that, we can right click deployment shares and create a new deployment share. And I just add capture to the end of all the defaults. So we'll call it deployment share capture, description add capture, leave all these as defaults, and then keep going through, pressing next, and let the deployment share be created, and then press finish. Now we've got our capture deployment share. We can right click it and go to properties and make a few amendments. So the first one is unticking x86. In the rules, under OS install, we can add do capture equals yes. And then we can go to the Windows P tab. On the drop down, select x64, untick generate the light touch bootable ISO file. And then under monitoring, tick enable monitoring for this deployment share. And then we can press apply and then OK. The next thing we need to do is import the operating system that we want to capture. So we can just right click the operating systems, go to import operating system, full set of source files. And then we need to get the ISO file, which I have on my server. So I'm just going to right click it and press mount and mount it as the E drive. And then for the source directory, we can browse and then just browse directly to the E drive and press OK. If you get an error at this stage, it will likely be because your, if you browse to the E drive and then go to sources and then find the install.wim file, you'll likely find you have an install.esd file and you will need to extract the WIM file from within it. And I will leave another link with how to do that. So once you've got your WIM file, you just browse to the directory that the WIM file is in, select it, it'll accept it, and then you can press next. Give the directory a name, I'm just going to leave it as default, and then next to import the ISO file. Now that the operating system has been imported, we can press finish. We then can go to task sequences, right click and do new task sequence. For this one, we will give it a, an ID of Win11 Capture. Task sequence name, we'll do Windows 11 Enterprise Eval. Evaluation capture, and next. Then here, we're gonna change this from a standard client task sequence to sysprep and capture. Then we'll do next. Select the operating system that we have just imported. Press next. Do not specify a key at this time. Fill in some information. And then press next. Specify a password. and then press next, and then next to create the task sequence. We're not gonna make any amendments to this, we're just gonna leave this as default. So now we have set the properties of the deployment share, we've imported the operating system, and we've created the task sequence. The last thing we need to do is right click and update the deployment share, select completely regenerate the boot images, and then press next, and then next to regenerate the deployment share. Now the deployment share has been updated, we can press finish and then go back to our Windows 11 computer that we want to sysprep and capture. Now that we're back on our Windows 11 machine that we want to capture, we can right click the start menu and go to run and then browse to the deployment share that we've just created by browsing to the deployment server and then backslash deployment share capture and then dollar and then okay. Once we've navigated to the deployment share capture, we can go to scripts and then search for light touch. And the one you want to run is the VBS script file. So I'll just double click that, accept the UAC and let the light touch application load. 
Once it's loaded, we can select our Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation Capture or whatever you named your task sequence and then press next. Here we can specify where we want to store our captured image. By default, it stores it in the deployment share capture folder. So I'm just gonna leave that, that as that. And then for the file name, I'm just going to add today's date at the beginning. And then press next. And then for the credentials, you just want to specify credentials that have permission over your deployment server. And then press next. On the final page, we can expand the details just to see what we've set. And then we can press begin to start the sysprep and capture process. Before you start this process, you just need to double check that the machine you are trying to sysprep and capture is not added to your Active Directory domain and is in a standard work group. This process will take a while, so it's best to just press begin and just leave it for a bit, and then it will automatically reboot into the PXA environment and then save the WIM to the deployment share. Now that the deployment is finished, you'll likely see two warnings. It just says unable to create web service class. I always get these, these are fine. Now what we need to do is go back to our deployment workbench. Back on our deployment server, we can go to our file explorer and then browse to our deployment capture share. Then go to captures and we should see the WIM file that we've just created from capturing our reference image. Now what we need to do is import this into our standard deployment share so we can deploy it to workstations. To do that, if we go back to our standard deployment share and go to and go to operating systems, I'm just going to create a new folder and call this custom images. And then press next to create the folder. And then within our custom images folder, we can right click and do import operating system then select custom image file and then next and then browse to our captured image. Select it and press open and then do next. Leave setup files are not needed. Ticked next and give it a name. So I'll do custom um, Windows 11. So I'll give it a name of custom Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation and then do next. And then next to import the operating system. Now that the operating system has been imported, we can press finish and then create a task sequence. So now we can create a task sequence to deploy that custom image file. So we can right click task sequences and press new task sequence. Task sequence ID, we'll call this win11 custom. Um, task sequence name, custom Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation, and then next, leave it as standard client task sequence, and then next, here we want to select our custom image, and then we can press next, do not specify a product key. We can fill in these details again and then next specify a local administrator password for when we deploy the image and then we can do next and then next to create the task sequence and then finish so now we've got our custom task sequence the only thing that we need to do now is actually boot to the network and then we can install our custom image so I've got my machine, which I'm going to boot from. So I'm going to boot it and then boot from the network. So we're just booting from our standard light touch that we created in the previous video. Now that's booted, we can see we've got our original Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation, as well as our custom that we've just created. So I'm gonna select that and then press next. 
Here we can specify a name, so I will call this um, Win11 Custom. I want to leave it so it gets added to the domain. We can do next. I'm not going to install any software because that's all pre-baked into the image. So I'll press next. See all the details that we've selected. And now we can press begin. And there we go. The Windows 11 reference image has been deployed. We have zero errors and zero warnings. If we check, we can see that it's got the name Win11 Custom that we specified. It's added it to the domain. It's the correct Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation 22H2. It's also got all the software that I'd pre-installed. And it seems to open fine. So that's how to sysprep and capture Windows 11 22H2.